Dilly the orphan appears delighted to see them. She's particularly pleased to see one of the males, who's become like a father to her. But she gets on well with all of them, and immediately joins in the grooming session. In the absence of a real family, this is where she often turns for companionship. She's always hanging out with the lads and has really actually become quite a tough cookie. They accept her perfectly as well, which is really very nice. Suddenly, the group are alerted by Gremlin's calls nearby. Freud is quick to react and goes to investigate. He finds Gremlin alone. She offers her hand, begging for reassurance. Freud knows that his main rival, his younger brother Frodo, can't be far away. Both are well aware that Gremlin is in season. Frodo has chosen to hang back, but he's not going to escape Freud's wrath. The others recognise there's trouble afoot. Freud is going to teach Frodo a lesson he won't forget. Frodo may be big, but he's none too brave. Galahad rushes in to see the outcome, while Gremlin is worried by the pandemonium she's caused. There never was much doubt about the outcome. Freud is still clearly in charge. 